In the Middle Ages, the flattened fifth was known as the Devil's Interval and was banned by church authorities who feared it could induce demonic visions and even violence in the listener. But were those religious authorities right? Can simply rearranging a few notes or a subtle change of tempo produce radically different physical responses? Psychologist Dr. Larry Parsons is looking for answers by seeing if he can measure music's effect on our bodies. His team are wiring me up with receptors to monitor changes in my heart rate, breathing and sweating. They're even going to be measuring minute changes in my body temperature. We have a thermal camera fixed here. It's going to be measuring any facial temperature changes. There's been very little face heat map uh, assessments of anybody listening to, to music as far as I know. And so um, you, you're, you know, a pilot pioneering subject. Okay, great. First, Larry plays me an up-tempo violin concerto by Mozart. It's written in a major key, usually associated with happy music. It's certainly making me feel pretty good. And Larry's data shows a steady increase in my heart rate and temperature. We'll start by just showing you the change as you listen to the very pleasing Mozart piece. Your response to the happy music was summarized by a very rhythmic breathing pattern, a rise in facial temperature in certain regions of the face. There's a pleasing, regular, emotional response for the happy music. But look what happens when Larry plays me a piece of dissonant Russian thrash metal. Larry, what are you doing to me? It's hideous. Get it off. The thermal imaging camera is picking up a dramatic reaction. This is the transition point where we switch to this very disgusting music. Immediate reaction right away. Your head moves back. You tightened up. You sort of retracted a bit. You're having facial muscle responses that change the way that the heat is being reflected here. So my face actually got colder. All the way to the end of the stimulus, it drops by about 0.2 degrees. The thrash metal doesn't just make me colder, it also triggers anxiety, an adrenaline rush, and it plays havoc with my vital signs. At the shift, so your breathing rate got much more erratic, and here it got quite erratic as you really responded. You might say it was shocking, because your heart skipped a beat. My heart literally skipped a beat. <laughs> you can see the beat, 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 whoop. That's a brilliant result. <laughs> Last is an adagio by Albinoni. It's written in a minor key, which is often used to express sadness. You start out as physically cold as you were at the end of the disgust. But over time, you warm up to the music itself and your face warms up and you get at the same level of warmth as you did when you were happy. There's a submerging into the music, having it wash over you, having it change the way you're feeling. So together, does all this information prove that music can control our emotions? I think so. Mm -hmm. 